Next, we're in the Netherlands where a man known only as Bubble Boy is pushing the limits of protective packaging in this incredible stunt. No, Bubble Boy. Don't do it. This video has the internet bubbling with discussion over its authenticity. <laughs> yeah, we did it, bro. Give me those bubbles, I wanna pop them. But is bubble wrap really a good alternative to the stairs? Bubble Boy kinda has the right idea here. After all, we landed the Grover on Mars using airbags. Bubble wrap is just a series of small airbags. The reason you get hurt when you jump off a building is that you slow down suddenly. So what bubble wrap does is actually increases the time it goes from very fast to nothing. And the way it does that is that it absorbs energy, it pops, it deforms. So far, so good. But does he have enough bubble wrap for a safe landing? NASA has done tests on how many Gs a human being can experience and still survive. And what they found is that a human can survive up to 45 Gs without being killed. Bubble Boy has about four inches or 10 centimeters of bubble wrap around him. And even if all of them compressed perfectly and evenly, he would still experience about 100 Gs falling from that height. As a result, Bubble Boy should be dead. I don't want to burst anyone's bubble, but this clip is obviously fake. Remember, use your bubble wrap for popping and do not try this at home. Yeah. I'm Bubble Boy's arch nemesis, Burst Man.